So you don't have a jack at all? No. Okay. Well, I guess that's okay. We still gotta have one. Because we're gonna put the drift tires on the Datsun. So these are the Motegis, the Universal 4 lugs. I'm hoping they'll fit. We threw these tires on them yesterday. It's in previous videos. And previous videos. So now they just gotta they just gotta work. But first, that means we've got to find a jack. So we had a bottle jack. Bottle jack is under the tire. I have one of those kick-ass BMW jacks. I don't know what I did with it. So now David's getting a screwdriver to turn the jack with. Oh well. So the soggy suspension on the 210 isn't going to be able to clear the 16-inch Mutegis yet. Um, I think maybe with a spacer uh, and some stiffer rear suspension that keeps it up, it might be able to work like that. But as of right now, it would just set it right down on the fender because the offset of these wheels. Uh, so that's going to be a no-go. But we can still get the front ones off so that uh, on our way to work, we can take them and slime them up. I think it's the front right and the back left that keep going flat. Yeah. So, and then with my fucking piece of shit. Phone. I don't know about you, but I cannot get my phone to stay in that damn otter box. I'm about done with their shit. About. Hang on the side or yes. So. Let's get it somehow. So that one's got a. I don't know, but. My case is not made for one. So. Yeah. That one's going flat on. This one's going flat on the front. I'm pretty sure I got slime. Pretty sure I got slime. Got a big old bottle of slime. Yeah. Perfect. We'll go slime these bad boys up. So it didn't work like we thought, but the Motegis will fit on the back, but now we gotta go get some lug nuts. But not right this minute, because me and David have to kind of go to work. Mm. Yeah, because it's like Two. <laughs> 2.40, and I gotta be there at 3. <coughs> so. However, we do get the old two, two tires off the back, off the front right and the back left. <coughs> Dang. So we're gonna take those and get get those aired up and slimed. GPS, you already have your best. I don't know, yeah. I don't know. Bam! Lead sled, brah. You an EPS guy. Fucking dicks. Alright. Alright, so the Civic over there. It looks like it's lifted up in the air. I've got it jacked up, kinda. Uh, JB welding up the holes in the muffler on it. Tim drove the Lincoln to work today. Me and David are out here in Icky Vicky. We gotta run up to the Nia Chesses and grab us um, uh, lug nuts for the Datsun, the Dragson. Whatever we're gonna call it. The Skidson? I don't know yet. Driftson. Something, yeah, the Driftson. Something pretty kick ass. I don't know, we'll think of something. But we did, we, the lug nuts that were on the Rotson are the factory lug nuts on the car. And they didn't fit worth a lick. And there's some weird guy picking up stuff on the side of the road. Okay. Well, anyway. So we're gonna run up to a parts store. And grab some of those mini lug nut things, the small low profile wheel lug nuts. I don't know what the hell you call them. Slim lug nuts? Slim nuts? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll... Something, whatever. We're gonna get some of those. And then we're going back to the house to put the drag wheels on. Yeah, okay. We're going to Disneyland, Disneyland. That same face 
Every time I point the camera. Oh, What'd yeah. you get? Leg nuts. Because we had to get M12-1.25. And they only had two different styles. And I've got a bunch of keys for those if we lose the key that comes with them. So. They're called acorn nuts. Acorn nuts is what they call. So now we can bolt the wheels to the Rotson without ruining the lugs. Or my nuts of lugs that I already had that are apparently not. I think they're M12 by 50 by 0.1 by 1.55 here so anyway now we're on the way back to the house I'm trying to stick them on. open the like nuts all right so now the dirt nasty dots yeah the civic's gone it's gone big blank space now i gotta buy another car to park right here to take the space again ah i feel so uh, shitty but so good because my wallet's so fat. You know that feeling you get where you're like, dude, I shouldn't have sold that, but holy shit, look at all my money. No? Okay, maybe it's just me. Well, anyway, this thing's got wax build up on it. I buffed it though. I took the wax off though. Hmm. That's weird. Need to get some new pads, buff it again. So in this old rust bucket. Shut up. Drift status. Oh, ho, ho. At least the tires hold air for now. Until I drift them into a wall. Bend the rim. God. You still ain't got that dang package open? Good God, David. No one asked you to argue with me. Now you're going to pour them all over the floor. Okay, now let's see if they fit. I told you. Lucille thought you on it, mate. You picked a fine time to be a dumbass. Mexicans and somethings and Puerto Ricans again. Cause I've had time. Give me the the key. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna give me this one. There's paper around it. I don't need a paper. I need some paper shit. There we go. Boom. Boom, bada boom. I just gotta get a good turn. Oh my. <laughs> These things got such small space. They're smaller than the rotas. And the rotas don't have any space. Oh. What? And it's got just enough clearance. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. Skin your ribs. Nah, brah. More offset. Need spacers. Spacers for days. Go take the handbrake off for a second. Let it off slowly, so we'll see if it tries to roll. I was about to say there's a post there. I was hoping it was clear. He's like, ding, post. And just let it off slowly. It smells like old people in here. You're old. All right. Oh, it's got just enough space. Check out that gap. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the drive shaft spinning. So much awesomeness, but so sad because it's an open diff. Okay. Well, we got one on there. Time to get the other one on there. Holy shit. Now go drop the handbrake. Don't sit in it. Just lower the handbrake. Holy crap. Clearance for days. So good so far. Oh my god! Dude, it's drift ready! Look at that! Holy shit! Dude, this is mint. Oh yeah, still jacked up on the other side. <laughs> okay. Not really jacked up, just supported. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh my god, that's gonna look so good. Yeah, how horrible.
God. No, 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 no. Drift tires don't match. It doesn't matter. It's just got to do skids. It doesn't matter about the wheels. Front wheels are perfect. Well, now you have the money to go buy the parts to fix this motor so you can try this motor. No, I'm not fucking worried. I got the money to fucking do the fucking swap I want to do now. We're doing the fucking 2.8. So we're going to the junkyard Hey guys, surprise. We're going to swap the rats in. I'm, I figured out what we're going to do because the engine bay is so small. Uh, here's what's going to happen. Chevrolet in the 80s and early 90s created the mythical beast known as the Chevrolet S10. They made it a truck and an SUV. And for this pickup truck, they picked a mid-range engines. They picked a mid-range engine you could have as an option. In the base model, there was the Iron Duke, the 2.5 liter Chevrolet Vortec Iron Duke. As far as towing goes, you could get the 4.3 Chevrolet Vortec. And then, then there was the 2.8 V6. Came in the Fiero, the Celebrity, the older Cavaliers, including the Cavalier Wagon, came in the Corsicas, the S10s, the S10 Blazers, the GMC S15s, uh, what else did it come in? It came in something else. The Fiero, if I haven't already said that. I don't know. But the 2.8, small V6, it's really small. There's tons of aftermarket accessories for the 2.8. Get you an LMC truck catalog for the Chevrolet. Bam. 2.8 stuff for days, okay? So I want to cam it and stroke it and put one of those real low sumps on it that has the, the plates in it to help for drifting. And we're going to convert it to carburation, which I know is not ideal for drifting, but it's going to work. It's going to do it. I don't even care. I don't. I don't even care. And then we're gonna run a fuel cell and a cage in it. And I, we are seriously gonna try to fucking do this. I don't wanna just say it, I want it to be done. It needs to be done. It's gotta be done. Jack it up in the middle. Oh, okay, it's, it's gonna be done. It's gonna do it, I know it will. So now we gotta get this tire on the front and this tire on the back. So how about our crappy Jack thought it was gonna fall over on us. Right, because we had to bring it up higher to get the wheel on there. And that jack thought it was going to fall. Because the car's going downhill. I thought it was going to go. Well, I took care of that. Wrong part of the wood, but it's fine. There goes the tire. That's gonna... Oh, Paul. <laughs> I took care of that. I pulled the Crown Vic up. And it's just barely touching right in there. And I put the Crown Vic in a low gear and pushed it forward. And it took all my clear cut off the rim. I don't give a fuck and push the dots and back backwards to straighten the jack back up so it wouldn't fall off so David can jack it up enough so I can slide this tire onto the hub and screw it down and it worked and it worked well thank you Crown Vic once again now you're a jack stand yeah oh Smoking like a son of a bitch. Little one point four. 